Well, after more than a year of isolation and disconnection, mental health remains really a concern for students across the valley. And although getting professional treatment is beneficial, kids sometimes need another avenue to seek help. Orco Manage joining us live with how some local teens are getting involved to help each other out. Orco? Well, Brian, with kids stuck at home doing distance learning away from their friends, they often find it hard to describe how they're feeling, even to their parents. But when it comes to conversations about mental health and suicide, there are some local organizations that are providing peer-to-peer -peer resources. It's important that we acknowledge mental health and be there for each other. A helping hand during a tumultuous time. Hope Means Nevada is a group focused on stopping youth suicides, especially important now with more than 20 CCSD student suicides since the start of the pandemic. 15-year-old Sydney Yee is part of the teen committee and says their role is crucial. As teens, we kind of connect with each other more and feel more comfortable sharing with each other rather than like a counselor or a teacher. They host events and provide tools such as their Ask Five initiative. We should ask five people we know how they're doing to kind of get out there and check in on our friends. There's always going to be someone there for you. He participating in a suicide prevention panel Thursday night focused on empowering young people. There wasn't much for teenagers. Sienna Pringer started Teens Helping Teens a few years ago. She says peer-to-peer -peer resources are also key in actually encouraging those struggling to ask for help in the first place. It seems less like charity and more like just someone being a friend. And I think that's really important when it comes to them reaching out themselves. The main goal is to come together. We should keep reaching out to each other, keep being there for each other, and keep loving each other. We'll have the contact information for both of these organizations on our website, 8newsnow.com. Reporting live tonight, Orco Mana, 8 News Now.